So many developers are confused by the word hydration in React. Let's learn what is hydration in React. So in the React world, when your server sends an HTML, an existing HTML to your browser, it gets rendered on your client side in the browser, right? But it doesn't have React in it. So when React attaches itself to that HTML, that particular thing is called hydration, which is a React's attempt to attach event listeners to the HTML. And then it can control all the DOM nodes inside of that HTML, right? So when you have HTML and you sprinkle React on top of it and it attaches itself to the DOM, that's what we call hydration. This concept is not new, but there is something of an update now. Well, as of React 18, React can now have, you know, components on the server side. So the HTML that is being rendered by the server and being sent to the client is also from React. So we have a new method called hydrate root. Hydrate root lets you display React components inside of the browser DOM nodes, right? Uh, where the HTML was also previously generated by React, but on the server. It's pretty much the same thing, but you can think of hydration when React attaches itself to an existing HTML or an existing HTML that was also rendered by React on the server. So when your HTML and React got, get together, that's what we call hydration in React. Lovely jubbly. See ya. Bye.